Hey there, it is gradient time. And what we want to do is this image here, we've added this cool retro kind of style gradient. I'm going to show you how to do that now in Adobe Photoshop. Let's go. First up, let's open up two images. Okay, it's in the same color folder. It's called gradient 01 and gradient 02 from Jordan Andrews. Thank you, Jordan. So we're going to start with gradient 01. We're going to do two things. We're going to add gradient to text and we're going to add it to the image in the background. We'll do the text first as it's the easiest to do. Okay, so we're going to have a full section on doing type a little bit later in the course. But for now, click on this capital T your type tool, click once on your keyboard. Okay, and over here, um, in terms of the font size, pick a font, any font you like. Okay, and a size, I've got mine up to about 80. Okay, yours is probably defaulting to 10 or 12. And over here, okay, we're gonna type in all. I'm gonna put a return in, start. Don't worry too much about type at the moment. Um, to move your type around, we're gonna use our move tool. Okay, and I'm just gonna click and drag it around. So adding a gradient to this, changing the color of the font's easy. You can double click it here, pick a new font. But let's look at adding a color. Okay, to do it, you need your text layer selected. There's mine, it's uh, got the gray box around it. And down the bottom here, there's one called effects, and there's one in here called gradient overlay. Now what you'll find in Photoshop is that pretty much true of everything you do in Photoshop, there's like three or four different ways of doing the same thing. What I'm trying to do is that, um, I'm trying to give you, I guess, like there's about three different ways of applying gradients. This way I feel like is the most bulletproof in terms of future proofing. Just means it's gonna work probably on most circumstances, whereas some of the other gradients don't work in all cases. Anyway, what I'm saying is, is that later on you might go, hey, why didn't he show me that version of this thing? And you like it better. It's totally cool, do it. If you stumble across a different way of doing something, totally, there's nothing right or wrong about it. I'm just trying to, okay, I guess, cut it down to some the usable, the most usable versions. So, gradient overlay. And by default, it'll depend on what you last had selected. Now, what we're gonna do is, where it says gradient, click on this little arrow here. Let's move them up so we can kind of see. Click on this little drop down arrow. By default, you've got some horrific drop shadows. Okay, uh, well, gradient, sorry. Okay, some terrible ones. Um, if you need rainbow colored gradients, you, my friends, are all in luck. Okay, so what we're gonna do is have to go and customize it. So let's start with this first one, black to white. It's the easiest one to customize. Let's click on the little arrow to pop it back up. So um, what we wanna do now is change the colors used. And you do it by clicking in this color bit here. That's why it's a little bit confusing using gradient overlay. Okay, so you click on this anywhere in this color box, this thing pops up, okay? And what we're gonna do is you use the bottom parts of these houses Okay, so not the top parts, use this bottom bit. So let's double click this first color swatch. Okay, and using this hue slider, drag it up, drag it down, find a color that you wanna use. Okay, I'm gonna use this one, click okay. Double click this white house. Same thing, drag this hue slider up and down until you find a color you wanna use, then click in here. Okay, and you'll have that <laughs> blue to purple, or at least magenta. Click OK. Um, well, let's click OK again and have a look at some of the settings. So where it says reverse, just flips it top to bottom. Um, we are using the linear style, so it goes in a line from top to bottom. Um, you can adjust that, which angle. Okay, you can see now it's going kind of more left to right from this side to this side. Um, you can decide any size. Um, linear, you can play around with radial. And you can experiment on your own, the different ones, angle, reflection, just kind of different ways. You can see the gradients are on both sides. We're just gonna go for linear in this case. And in terms of the scale, you can lower it down, it makes a bit more sense. And then it's just got like only a tiny little gradient between these type here. Cool, I'm gonna leave mine at 100%. That's what yours is probably set to. Now, before we do the images, I'm gonna show you, gradients are kind of back in, right? When I, I guess, not even that long ago, maybe, Six, seven years ago, gradients, I didn't even have in the class because who used gradients? So gradients have come round full circle and are super cool now, right? Or at least I think so. So um, where I get my gradient colors from, I'm gonna show you a cool little site. It's this site here, it's called Gradient. I love it. All it does is just show you examples of cool gradients. And um, yeah, once you've found one you like, let's say we click through here. Okay, you can see there's a bunch of different options. Okay, I like on page two this one here. It's my favorite one. You'll, you'll probably notice it from other videos that I've made, um, but this is where I get my colors from. Now, to get those colors into Photoshop, the easiest way is, see down the bottom here, there's this yellow and pink. So those are the two colors, right? If you click on it, okay, that is the number you want. It's this hash 
and then it's got some letters and some numbers. So just copy that on your keyboard. So on my Mac, it's Command C to copy, or you can right click and go to copy. Jump back into Photoshop, and in Photoshop, remember when we clicked on to change color, it's that big color bar there. Double click the green, uh, blue house, and this is where it goes down here. I'm gonna paste it in. I'm gonna paste everything. I don't think we need the hash, it doesn't seem to mind it at all. You can see the hashes over here. So that's a, that's an easy way to pick a, pick a color from the internet is using these letters and numbers. Let's click OK. I'm gonna jump back into Grabient. Grab this end here, grab this. I'm gonna leave the hash off, copy it. Back to Photoshop, double click this house, grab him, paste this one. I love those colors. I'm gonna click OK. Click OK again. You can make any last adjustments, but that's it for, it doesn't really matter what it is. And we've done it for type, I'm gonna click OK. But it doesn't really matter what the layer is. There's a little adjustment we need to do for images, but if it's a logo you've brought in or a shape from somewhere you've made an illustrator or brought in, or drawn it with the shape tool, which we'll look in a second to do, um, you can just have it selected, down at effects and go to gradient overlay. Now the next thing I wanna do is this image in the background and there's a slightly different process, okay? Because first of all, if I click on background, this effects is grayed out. And this is gonna happen throughout our Photoshop course where you just, um, it's locked, okay? And it's called background. To unlock the background, double click background, okay? Give it a name, okay, minus shoes. And now it becomes unlocked and I get to add, add, add that effects. Okay, so that's half of the thing we need to do. Now I click on effects, make sure that layer is selected and go to gradient overlay, just like we did before. The only trouble is, it's kind of doing exactly what happened here, but I can't see the image. So what ends up happening is you need to, um, we've talked about all of this stuff, it's this one here, blending mode. Okay, blending mode is a way of this gradient blending with the image itself. Okay, so click on normal and just dissolve does nothing. Uh, darken does something, okay, and you're just gonna have to work your way through until you find a way a blend that works with your particular gradient and the colors in your image. Now there's no like absolute one you should pick from this. It really depends on your image and the colors in your gradient. So it's a bit of a lottery. Okay, so click on multiply, see if that works for you. And it's, I'm just gonna work way through until I pick something that I like. I'm gonna turn the opacity back up. Color burn, linear burn. You're just gonna watch me now go through them all. <laughs> Uh, light and I kind of like, it's kind of got that retro 80s, but in that kind of hipstery way, it's hard to explain, right? But gradients are cool now. Lighten, I know screen's kind of a nice one. Uh, color dodge, not so good. Okay, I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because I decided uh, I either liked hard light or I liked uh, screen. And that's totally, sorry, lighten. That's totally just based on my gradients and my images. And I'm gonna leave it there. So that's the difference between doing images and just say straight off text or shape, okay? Is that first of all, you need your layer unlocked, then you add the effect like you do normally and just make sure when you do add your gradient, you change that blending mode. Oh, before I go, probably super important point that I haven't brought out yet is say you've a, you wanna adjust this gradient now. Okay, I'll turn it off. See all star here, you can kind of see the structure. That's my whole layer and these are the effects. Okay, I can turn either the effect or the gradient itself off to show through that original red color. Okay, so what we can do to edit it, so to turn it off, that's all you need to do. Just leave it there. Okay, but to edit it, I'm gonna have the eyeball on, double click the word gradient overlay, double click. Okay, and you'll see it's gray here and it's got a little tick. Okay, you might be accidentally on something else. So I'm gonna untick that, make sure this is gray. Okay, and that's where you can go and make adjustments. So let's say that I don't like that anymore, so I'm going to reverse it or uh, play with a different blending mode as well. Okay, but that's how you make adjustments. Okay, I'm probably going to turn it off and make this back to white. Okay, so text selected, my little properties panel here would tell me what color that I'm using. I clicked on it and to get white, just as a little other thing before we go is, watch this, any of these hues, it doesn't matter. If I click, hold and drag, and I'm dragging kind of past where I need it, because up in the top left is white and down in the bottom left is black. So what I do is instead of trying to like, some people like just try and click in there, and you get it pretty close, but if you click, hold and drag past, so I'm holding my mouse down and dragging it past, that assures it's white. All right, I'm gonna click OK. And if you wanna tidy this effects up, so I've turned it off so you can't see it, but say that you're pedantic and you've got a bit of OCD and you wanna get rid of this, you can click, hold, and drag it to this trash can and that will get rid of it. 
All right, so it's project time. I'd like you to practice using this one here. Okay, so I don't mind what text you use, but definitely play around with the gradient, okay, on the image. Okay, go to gradient, pick a color, pick your own colors. You can you can do your own colors. And I'd like to actually see it this time though. We've been doing, you've been following me along. What I'd like you to do is I'd love to see your own one. So dig through your files and see if you can find an image that you're happy to share. Okay, and um, it can be your family, it can be your house, it can, you can take a quick photo now of yourself. Okay, and just, I wanna see what kind of gradients and stuff you're doing. And you can either post it here on this page um, or you can share it with me on social media. On Instagram is bring your own laptop, okay, or on Twitter, it's Dan Loves Adobe. Either way, do an image, can be this one, it can be your own one, and I'd like to see what you've done. All right, that is gonna be the end of this one. Let's jump into the next video. I'll see you over. Bye.